Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we visit the new studios for Golden String Radio and Recording. We also toured the new Purple Cat offices, an amazing transformation of a blighted building in downtown Youngstown. But first, red wine pasta. Well, today I have a very special guest in the kitchen with me, my husband, Ken. And, yes. uh, honey, it has been quite a while since you've joined me. I'm not counting. I'm still here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, it has. A lot of people were wondering what happened to you. Wait, where did he go? Yes. And, uh, but he is still here, and you really are responsible for uh, some of this dish. A lot of things. For many things. Okay. Uh, but you're mostly accountable for this. Oh, for particular this particular dish. dish that we're going to make. Okay. And it starts with um, we always eat our leftovers. And I always eat the leftovers. You do. Right. You're a very good leftover. And you were making fun of me one night about how <laughs> I reheat leftovers, which if it's pasta, for instance, I will take I'll take the pasta out and I'll splash it with some wine and I will reheat it. And yeah, so he says it really adds a lot more richness to it. So then we found this recipe through you know some experimentation and I think you are all going to really love this. It's very few ingredients, they're very easy to find. So we didn't want to call it drunken pasta because no. that, that sounds bad. Because you don't get drunk it because be right. the alcohol cooks out. But when we were in Spain, every time we went to a um, restaurant or a um, bar, a bar, <laughs> it was you know blanco or it was tinto or it was cava. cava. So we decided to call this Vino Tinto Pasta. For this recipe, you'll need one bottle of dry red wine, a Merlot, Chianti, Pinot Noir, uh, one pound of spaghetti, two tablespoons of olive oil, four ounces of pancetta or bacon chopped, one medium red onion sliced thin and quartered, eight cloves of garlic sliced, two tablespoons of tomato paste, two bay leaves, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, one quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, five ounces of grated Parmesan cheese, and fresh basil leaves chopped for garnish. We're gonna work in tandem here. I'm heating up uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Ken, that water has come to a boil. Pasta? Yep, add a little bit of salt. Okay. And the package says to cook it for 11 minutes to go al dente. We are going to cut it at eight minutes because we're gonna finish cooking the noodle actually in the sauce. So make sure we set that for eight minutes. Yeah, leave three minutes. Throwing it in, boss. Throwing it in. Pasta's in, boss. Right now, your bacon or your pancetta, if you're gonna use meat, will put in this skillet until brown. You can see how nice and crisp the pancetta is. Should I turn the fan on? Nah, not right, yet. Fair enough. Okay, so let's remove you this. Me? Yeah. You got it, boss. And we'll try to save the juices. All right, so just get rid of the pan. The side bacon. Up. Yeah, and I have a slotted spoon over there if you want to use it. That is nice. Okay, that good. See, I'm thinking of everything. You know, it's those little things that you know. I know. You know, the Better. slotted spoon. <laughs> slotted just think spoon. of the first guy that made that. Now what we're gonna do is add our red onion. Ooh, nice. And we'll keep the pan. You want that sizzle. On medium. Yeah. And now I'm just going. You browning those? I'm just softening these. Okay. And this is a good time to add just a little bit of salt. And pepper. And pepper. <laughs> All right. Because they'll get really nice and absorbed into the onion. So, we're just gonna soften this. It'll only take a couple minutes. We reached the eight minute mark and Ken is draining the pasta. The pasta now, is drained, boss. Thank you. We're gonna add the garlic. All right. What's going on, Miss McGillicuddy? We are going to add the red pepper. Okay. 
I get and to stir. You get to stir. And then I'll tell you, you know, that's about, that's you know, eyeballing it. Yeah. But this is easier than buying the cans. It's I easier just than measuring, too. The tube. So yeah. that's about two tablespoons. So we are going to mix that up until right. thoroughly combined. Okay, that looks good. So now we add the whole bottle of wine. We're going to take a little bit out for ourselves? Nope. Okay. That's for later, Kenny. All right, boss. All right, so that's the whole bottle. You want that up to high or are you staying on medium high? We are high? going to put that on high now. Okay. And we are now going to let this cook through in about 10 minutes and it's going to reduce by half. All right, well, this has reduced, as you can see. Yeah, uh, you don't need bay leaves, I know. All this, all this family stuff, I it's, know. It's, it's made me reminisce. I know, all this good stuff. We had a lot of visitors, it was great. All right, so there now I'm going to add the pasta that we that made. That still needs to be cooked a ways. Now we'll turn this down to medium. It's a true al dente, but really it's not even that because it's still hard. Yeah, it's still got a bite. Because you still want to it's cook with it. To the tooth. So now we're going to let this absorb and cook further. And this will be about three, four, five minutes. And if it looks like it is getting dry, uh, we reserved some pasta water that pasta you. water. But you'll see that this noodle will begin to start sucking up this juice. All right, so what do you want to do now, <clears throat> Casey? This looks perfect it smells amazing too so i think it's loose enough yeah, i don't think loose. we're going to need additional water so right now we'll add back the pancetta to the pan we are going to add two tablespoons unsalted butter and about two ounces not all of it about two ounces of the parmesan all right so let's mix that thoroughly so let me take this little fork. Or a fork. Oh, sorry. Your fork full. And, uh, excuse me. I hate to eat on camera. It's going to be a little hot. Mm. It doesn't need adjustment. I, you know, check here if it needs salt or pepper, but I think right now it's really good. It looks amazing. Good. And so this part is done. Let's go and get that plated and uh, we'll take a taste. I just want a little bit, please. That looks perfect. Mmm. Nom, nom, nom. How about a little splash of cheese? Okay. There you go. <coughs> perfect. And a little bit for me. Okay. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. That is so delicious. And you saw how easy it is. Well, I, I think we should have bubbles. And I love, this is a great, thank you. A great uh, Blanc de Blanc, uh, Spanish Cava. And I think this is just a great value. And it's really nice with something like this, don't you think? You know, there's a lot of ways to open a bottle of champagne. Like yeah. you can make the big pop wow. or whatever. Did you or you can just do it? go silent, you know, whatever. Just having fun here. Mm. Ah, that's fantastic. You know what? That is a better way to go. It is. It's delicious. The bubbles. Cut right through. Vino Tinto Pasta. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. Get this recipe. It's very easy and you will wow your guests and family. Well, thank you for joining me in the kitchen. You know, I'm never gonna apologize again. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I am here with Rude the Dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery, and you know they have a huge beer selection, but you have really upped your wine and, of course, your entree selection. Yes, we did. We added about 30 new bottles of wine, um, also supporting some of our local wineries here, uh, Wine on Tap with Will and Sellers and Hubbard. And then here we have, this is on our menu daily, our cedar plank salmon with our house-made uh, blueberry salsa and vanilla porter barbecue sauce. And that is just one of the many entrees that you can choose if you have your party over in the wine and spirits room. 
you can really select your menu, beer, wine, everything you want. Yes, we customize your party to however you like it. Uh, we're actually starting to get booked up for graduations and weddings already for next year. Uh, this whole month's booked up and uh, it's a good place. Seats up to 150 and it's a good place to have a party. That's right. Celebrate at the Magic Tree Pub and Deedery. Cheers! r and Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at r and Paint. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilm is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros. Well, of all the improvements that are taking place in downtown Youngstown, my favorite is the street studio right here for Golden String Radio. You may recall a few years back we went to the Pearl Street studio and it was all boxed in and you had no idea what the weather was like and now they are right here on Phelps and it is amazing and I love walking by these studios and seeing everybody working and everybody's waving and this is like the happiest window in all of Youngstown, Ohio. And we're going to talk to all my buddies here from Golden String, but Mary Beth is one of the newbies. She is a uh, Arizona former resident. And how do you like Purple Cat? Oh, I love it. It's wonderful. And ever since I've been here, I love it. It's and you said you always wanted to be a DJ. Yeah. So when, you know, Jimmy came out and talked to your family. Talked to my family and talked to my, and me and when I heard that Purple Cat, he was wanting me to work for Purple Cat, I was like, okay, yeah. Now, you might remember my buddy Radar. He is the sports guru. Is that correct? That is correct, Casey. And I got to tell you, sports has been everything all my life, as a matter of fact. Uh, in fact, I've covered, covered everything, uh, even as a student, as a school reporter for the student prints uh, at Struthers High School back in the day, back when I, in the day. Did you do radio over there on WKTL? Uh, I did not, as a matter of fact, but, but I, but, but I was a school newspaper reporter and it made me, uh, or no, a little bit of the person, maybe to become a radio personality here at, here at Golden Street Radio, and I've been at it for nearly a decade now, oh, and it's fun doing on sports with uh, my, my colleague, Kristen Seidler, and Idler across the way from me a little bit and it's a that's right you know Kristen these digs are so much better than the old digs and I was impressed with your setup over there on Pearl Street yes. you've got to love this well, absolutely I mean I love looking outside there's so many friends that I've already made out there I wave to them all the time mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, she's large and in charge. You got to watch her. And she does a mean version of Beth. 
yes. by Kiss. And of course, my best friend, Mark. Hey, Mark, you might remember my buddy, Mark Castro. Yeah. And uh, you are still looking well, young man. Thank you so much. Now, good to see you again, too. I know, it's always good to see you. Now, what shows are you involved with down here? Um, uh, um, I mostly do just I mostly do just a hits hour like 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 on the weekdays from nine nine, nine until ten and then my then my busy, busiest day is Thursdays do, doing the radio from two two p.m. until eight, eight at night. All right, so now this is Uriah, Hello. as in heap. <laughs> I just love that you were named Uriah, Thank you. and uh, you're new here also to the radio. How do you like yes. it? I love it. Uh, when I first started, I was out at the farm. And then I uh, moved over to Pearl Street to uh, help over there. And now I'm here helping out. Another new addition down here at the uh, Golden String Radio is the recording studio. And there is a lot of musical talent here at Golden String Purple Cat. And we are going to go in now and uh, listen to some of the artists. Uh, Jason Murphy, band director, uh, music director, producer. When you told me this a few years ago about the setup you were putting into this new area, I had no idea. Oh, well, that's kind of you to say. At at the Galen Lee Show. Yes. And you were telling me, oh, we're going to have a recording studio. It is beyond my expectation. A lot of that was wish, wishful thinking at the time, but it, it came to fruition. And, uh, and I cannot believe the, the involvement. I mean, music, I think, really brings everybody together. Absolutely. Everybody loves music. I mean, uh, it, it's one of those things everybody loves animals. Everybody loves music, you know. Uh, what it's done, it started off way back we were at, uh, I started working for Purple Cat at Pearl Street. And the idea was a, sort of a music therapy idea. And right away I saw a band. Like, here's a percussionist, here's a, a guitar player, here's a bass player. These guys are writing original material. So I assisted mostly like a like an audio engineer, like, the, like a build-in producer. Uh, the original material, they bring it to me. I just help bring it to life. And uh, we recorded an, uh, an album. Since then, we play, every summer we play uh, our, our, our tour. We play the Absolutely Festival. We play the Canfield Fair. Uh, we play Silly Science Sunday. First night Youngstown, uh, New Year's Eve downtown. We've got a residency now at Susie's Dogs and Drafts. Hi, the first Monday of every month, the you're at Susie. Monday of every month. And I mean, the, you know, Victory, the original songs I've heard, I, they're really good I, I i agree i'm i'm i couldn't be more proud of these guys and uh yeah we the the our follow-up album is in the works now yeah, yeah. number one with a bullet huh yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm telling you <laughs> the casey malone show will be right back with more local flavor to own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. When someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. 
from moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley's own Pebblestone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you. From cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. Your all-inclusive membership gives you access to a full-size basketball court, pool, hot tub, sauna, and steam room and over 60 classes per week are all included free with your membership. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. When you walk into Kamara Jewelers now, it's a completely different look. But it's also the same comfortable feeling that you get when you come in. There's more beautiful jewelry, more different designers to show you. You can really see how much we love our job and the, everything that we're able to offer to our customers. So come to Kamara Jewelers, still the same people, same family ethics, 70 years, just a brand new look. You won't be disappointed. Get real, get Kamara. Well, a few weeks ago, I attended the grand opening of the headquarters now for Isle and Purple Cat. And Jimmy, you have, mm. this is like a Youngstown architectural success. You have refurbished this building within an inch of its life for your uh, purposes. Yes, yes. I mean, it had a giant hole in the roof, so, uh, and the water was all the way down into the basement. So it was quite a project and there were a lot of naysayers, but, uh, Feels good to be on the other side of that. It's took, it took a long time, five or six years, but we're here. So this was Colasar, mm -hmm. and they did display ads? Yes, they, well they did window displays, all of the, uh, you know, in motion characters for Higby's and McKelvey's and Horn's, uh, Strauss's, those types of places. And when you bought this building, yeah, as you said, there was naysayers. What made you think that the, it was re- Habitable. Well, the first thing we did was we put a roof on, and so then we let everything dry up. And then once we let everything dry up, it, you know, it, it started to show, you know, some promise. Um, not just the roof, because because this was Colasar's. Um, you have to thoroughly think that it was. Uh, there was just so much junk in here. I mean, everything from you know rolls of bolts of felt. Um, to rubber Santa Claus heads, um, to plastic Jesuses. Uh, I mean, they just it. was like it. an Oriental trading, like before Oriental trading existed. This was the Youngstown Oriental trading. Well, Josh, you are really involved with the music and the radio down there at Golden String Radio. Yes. And, and why, wh when did your love of music start? I was born to it. You, and so from an early time, music was your thing. Yes. What do you listen to, uh, you know, day to day? Uh, heavy stuff, hardcore style, slash. I want to shut this thing off. I think this is my favorite part of all <laughs> the renovations, <laughs> is the elevator. And Louie, you were really involved with this, in restoring this back to use. Yes. For the youths. For the youths. Come on in. <laughs> and you can see all the way up the elevator shaft. How awesome is this? <laughs> How long did it take to restore this? They, you know, they, they had to put everything new in it as far as all the cables are new. Because when it went out of service, it was hanging. Now, if, it, if they had taken it all the way down, we could have maybe kept, but I doubt it. We needed them. Look, it's in, all the cables are new. And Joe Gallagher, <laughs> God love him. You couldn't uh, believe. You couldn't believe what this place looked like. I mean, even the even the stairway, it had rotted so bad, and there was so much debris that you had to climb over everything it was, it, it, to get up. The, the the roofer wouldn't even go up to look. What else are you looking at to, um, you know, for jobs 
for the client. Well, I love it that it's the art, you know, the DJing and now the AV club, you know, that's another way, an avenue that we can help pay our folks. But the farm, um, we've been spending a lot of time out there expanding the animal program, expanding the agriculture. You know, we're building uh, a camp out there through Golden String again, like Sinchek and Moaning Valley Hospital. And that will be a stay at night, an overnight yes, camp? Yes, it'll be a camp for the, no matter what your disability is. I mean, we are getting it all handicapped uh, accessible. Uh, we're going to have a path, a wheelchair path, all the way around the lake um, with a little bridge on the back. Um, in fact, they're doing that today, working on that today. Um, we, we envision a lot of jobs. I mean, running a campground, you know, keeping it clean, changing the exactly. sheets, you know, cooking, cleaning, you know, not to mention all the landscaping that's involved, snow removal, those types of jobs. So, I, I mean, it's quite a business plan, you know. We, we'll be paying people more because we have a lot of folks with disabilities that want jobs, but uh, we're, you know, we're, we're working that into the plan. We know that that's what we're up against. We, we always have more people working, um, but it's definitely important. You know, everybody needs a sense of worth. Um, you know, we, we like the dignity of risk of it, you know. People with disabilities sometimes are put into a corner. We're afraid they're going to get hurt. We're afraid they're going to do this. That's not us. We're not afraid. We're going to have people work. We're going to have them do independent things and see where how it goes. Of course, we'll staff it and we'll keep an eye on them. We will be, you know, very, you know, eyes on. But at the same time, you know, we want people to live their lives. You know, that's one of my mottos all the time. I want people to live a life similar to mine. I mean, they may not agree with my life all the time, but <laughs> I want them to be able to go to church, go to temple, have a beer, go to a concert, you know, work, you know, uh, take care of the goats, uh, film a movie. I mean, we're, we're trying to give people opportunities. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation. Thank you.